everyone, it's Ross, and uh, today's video I'm doing inside because uh, it's raining outside, and I've got myself a fig. This is probably, it is easily one of the last figs of the season, and it's quite an important fig that I, I wanted to capture. Um, it's called Black Beauty 10, and this is uh, Dan Law, Dan from Louisiana, he's the guy who found this. And to be honest with you, I've been um, pretty negative on this variety because I don't really trust anything that guy says. If he says something's good, I uh, or he says anything about anything, I'm pretty biased, um, and I don't really believe it. But I ended up getting it. Uh, given this was given to me for free by my friend Brian in Louisiana, and um, I figured this one's. A fig of pretty, uh, you know, great interest. So I figured I'd capture this. This is the first and only fig off of my tree. It's quite a sizable tree now. It grows very quickly. Um, as does all black mission types. They seem to share that gene. And this fig here certainly, to me, looks like a black mission, but uh, it's slightly different. So I would say it's probably in the category of a black mission. The skin on this particular one is not very dark, and that's because it's been in the greenhouse for the last few days. It hasn't been a lot of sunlight. Um, it's just not. It's just not properly ripened in that way. But it is very ripe. It's super soft. Um, nothing about this reminds me texture-wise of a black mission. Black missions like Maltese Falcon and Kathleen's Black, Napolitana Negra, De La Reina, you know, those are more juicy. Um, you know, I would say less supple. You know, they got thick skins on them. They're better for shipping. Um, this fig to me doesn't seem like that, at least at first glance. You can see it's got quite a neck on it, quite a long neck. And um, yeah, I mean, this is the only fig I'm going to get this year, and it's November 6th. So even though I would say this probably isn't the best representation of this variety, um, it is well ripened. It was, it has been in the greenhouse, so I'm going to taste it for you guys now and tell you guys what I think. It's good. Um... It's not blowing me away, it's not a 10. It's quite good, that's uh, quite thick and quite jammy. Um, very sweet. Melon flavored berry tones. So the, the berry tones are not very intense. Quite melon flavored. Um, it's not bad. It's an eight out of ten, but you know it, it's really not uh, up there with some of the other eights I think I've had this year. But it is good. I like the texture. I like the thick jamminess of it. You know, um, I like the sweetness. I'm excited to see what actually is going to happen with this fig. To be honest with you, but uh, I know. A lot of I know I've tasted a lot of figs, and I can tell the potential of certain figs when I taste them, even if it's the first one. You, know, you kind of got a feeling, right? You kind of can get a feeling for these things and say, "All right, well, that's a fig." You know, even if it wasn't uh, perfect, you can certainly get an idea for certain varieties, and you're like, "Wow, that has some potential." This one, I don't see it getting much better than this. So, take that for what it's worth. Um, I don't know. It's pretty interesting, actually. It's quite different than your typical black mission, but it certainly looks like one. So, pretty cool. But that was uh, Dan Law's Black Beauty 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all for the next one. Take care.